folks start of the day feeding the bale looks like dad's ready over here he's got the trailer backed up we're gonna finish filling that place we've been bringing pears manure spreader set up we gotta clean this building once again if you're hearing my voice I got a man cold going on so bear with me today my nose is raw blowing it it's rough Got the calf goo, I'm all greased up. Did you sleep good though? I woke up a few times, had to clear the the sinus. And uh yeah, doing physical labor really makes you aware of the sickness. Uh, so we don't want to talk about how my night was. What was your night like? Well, I checked him at 12 and 2 and Six, and I've been up with them since six, but I can breathe. There's a whole smorgasbord of calves in there. Yeah, there's, there's a gaggle of them. up it's warming up I don't know if it's the fever or the sunshine but you know so feeling like sweatshirt weather out here dad did some box scraping yesterday looks like he piled up a little bit of manure that we can fit in this spreader before we take off
Hey, buddy. That's some fresh bedding in there. One of those fields we've been hauling a lot of manure to and uh, where those corn stalks starts that's the neighbors so we just got about four more loads to bring over here and this field will be wall-to-wall -wall manure and we'll start on the next one I got poo on my camera and my finger this heifer her mom is our Kind of favorite cow. Oh, is it 723? 933, the one that gets oh, in your face, about runs you over every time. Cow. Yeah. No, but uh, she, her mom too. loves the pellets, and so does she. It's genetic. She's a little too friendly. Uh, I told Lauren about a cow that we have that comes right up in pellets, and he says, 933? <laughs> I said, you must watch our videos. <laughs> Dad's got a whole mess of feed ready to go for him. Mornings like these, you're a little stressed and anxious because you're like, I gotta move pairs. We got three new pairs to take, gotta clean the building. And the next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock, you got it all done and you're like, man, not much else to do today. All that mouth breathing I've been doing. Chapstick really comes in handy. Yeah. Um, I've been taking a lot of stuff, drugs. Mm -hmm. right. I'm on that perp drank, that lean, as the hip hop folk say. I don't know what hip hop folk no. is. Basically, just day quill, night quill. That's what I mean. Okay. You know when people make a coffee in the morning and yeah. they add half and half. Okay. Does that mean a little, you know, half day quill, half night quill, they mix that together? Probably, yeah. Because yeah. I've been seeing some stuff. Yeah, there's demon in you. There's a unicorn dancing on your head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of that, I've had a strange, it doesn't make any sense, but I've had a strange song rolling through my head this morning, and it's by Bobby Pickett, Boris Pickett, Bobby Boris Pickett. It's a heck of a name. His name's Bobby Pickett, but his nickname's Boris, but it's Monster Mash. And we're about six months from Halloween, but by gum, that's the song of the day. Monster Mash. You by bet. Boris Pickett. But we have not done this for a while. Uh huh. 16 bowls. Oh, wow. Big tally mark day. And 11. Sunday afternoon kind of heffa. All right. Did I ever tell that story? Yeah. I was watching. Uh, Literally like two videos ago. The Sunday afternoon kind of half Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. He's losing it. Oh, yeah. Well, I am not getting much sleep, so there's that. But anyway, we need to go back to when we stopped. The last bowl we talked about was Ignatius, correct? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, you don't remember? I remember that name, but I don't know if it was the last one. Then after that, we had a Jake. And then we had an Eileen. Eileen, right? Yep. And then, strangely enough, the other four of my grandchildren all got named one <laughs> after we did Cece earlier. So we've got a Geo and an Oliver. And then we have a Hattie and a Nora. So that's the grandkids. And then we did Smitty, because Smitty wanted... Smitty on a bowl. And then my old friend Royal from Colorado. Uh-huh. 
Talked to him the other day. He's doing good. Royal, this one's for you. And then there was Ian and Earl. And then there was a girl named Claire. And then there was a Rick. Rick actually, his wife's name is Starla, and he wanted me to name one called Rickster, but Rickstar. But I just went with Rick. And then there was a Kevin. And a Deb. You remember Deb? Yeah, Deb T. Huh? California? Yep. She's she uh she does tie dye. She does. Yeah. And then there's Doug. Doug's been having a hard time lately. He lost his mom and he's a good friend of ours. And uh hang in there, Doug. It takes a long time, but it does get a little easier. And then Gene, you know, Gene always comments wonderful things. Just uh -huh. Gives us blessings and enjoys our videos. So if you want to be in the book with a calf named after you, or a clave, either one, ask me politely. the back of my truck would come a reservoir for your used tires I'm more interested in how long you're gonna haul those uh, those uh, walking sticks around before you take them back to Greg <laughs> yeah my parents just love to throw trash in my vehicles and house and you stick it in my house it goes back out the door it's a Tammy policy Protein tub and some mineral. They're hammering on it already. This stuff's got a product in it called rumensin. It actually helps make the rumen in these girls more efficient. It also prevents uh, coccidiosis. Uh, we were talking about that disease a couple videos ago. It's when you get that in your calves, it's a big deal. Got a few things taken care of. We got some healthy calves, about 26 calves in total. The heifers are doing great. Been some good weather the last week, and the 10 day is looking sunny and above average. Good calving weather. Hope you all are having a great Monday. Thanks for watching. Love to see you next time. Have a good one.